Thanks for tuning in to A Better World, where we aim to illustrate that today is the greatest time to be alive and show the progress we have been making as a civilization. I'm your host, Luis Acevedo, and in today's article, we'll be covering something that I've read from nlive.com, and that, if, for those of you who don't know, is a statewide news organization in Michigan. It stands for Michigan Live, hence the N. And the title of this article that they wrote is Over 6,200 Flint Water Service Lines Has Been Replaced in the Past Two Years. Now, for those of you who don't know, or I guess sleeping under a rock, back in 2014, Flint decided to switch their water source from Lake Huron and the Detroit River to a cheaper alternative, the Flint River. And, well, over 100,000 residents started getting lead in their water. And this was due to insufficient water treatment. And unfortunately, 12 people actually died from this. So very sad, very sad, all to try to save a buck. And, but they are working to correct their mistake. And that's why we're going over this article because they have made some good improvements. And it looks like here shortly, they will be taking care of this issue entirely. And so starting off in the article now, they have this um, initiative, and the initiative is called FAST. And so basically, it's FAST. Uh, I mean, Flint Action and Sustainability Team. And what they are aim, what their focus is, to replace the lead pipes uh, across Flint, Michigan. And they launched back in the spring of 2016. And as of right now, they have checked over 8,000 uh, residences to make sure that they don't have lead in their pipes or lead in their water. So that's one thing that Flint's doing in order to help mitigate and eventually eradicate the effects of those lead pipes and completely replacing them. That's one thing that they're doing. Another thing they're doing is they've hired four contractors to do the replacing. Now, the first one, I may butcher the name, but it looks like Goyetti Mechanical, Lang Construction Incorporation, W.T. Stevens, Woldruff and Sons, and now they have been paid $120 million to do this work. So they received $100 million of that in a grant from Federal Water Infrastructure Improvement for Nations, and they received the other 20 from the Department of Environmental Improvements for Children Health Insurance Grants. So they've received a lot of money to do this work. And they have been doing a pretty damn good job so far at replacing those pipes. And also another thing that the Flint City Com uh, Council has done that will help them, in my opinion, uh, achieve their goal by 2020. Uh, well, actually, they're mandated to con achieve this by 2020. And that is they gave the oversight of the whole project to AECOM. And they were contracted... Uh, about a little over five million dollars to do this and so their goal is to ensure that they're reaching their goal of replacing or galvanizing the 18,000 water service pipes uh, by 2020 so essentially just working towards replacing all of those by 2020 so in two years hopefully we can take care of this issue that's what it looks like and if you don't know like I didn't know who AECOM is I did a little research and I found that um, they were one of Fortune Magazine's world's most admired companies for four years in a row, and they brought in a revenue of $18.2 billion in 2017, and they were ranked number one in transportation and general building, and I believe it's uh, in the Engineering Magazine. Sorry if I got that wrong, uh, but they were ranked number one in transportation and general building, so... We know that Flint is in good hands with them overseeing the project. And so, um, however, there has been a... Um, it, the project has been going slower than they anticipated. And so, what I'm getting at is their original goal was to do 6000 per year. Now, obviously, they haven't hit that because they hit 6200 in two years. However, there are legitimate reasons for them not reaching that goal. And that reason is basically the fact that 
a lot of the houses that they checked had copper pipes as opposed to lead pipes and didn't need replacing. So they spent a lot of time inspecting pipes that didn't need replacing just to find out they didn't need replacing. So a lot of their time went to that. However, they want to achieve before the year's over. Well, this article is actually written in 2017. So their goal was to finish about 400 more pipes before the year was done. And so now they are on track to uh, eradicating this issue by 2020. And this is definitely good news, and I know I've been seeing a lot of Facebook memes about this, especially with Trump's Space Force and other things people continuously bring up. Well, how can you do this? How can we do this? But Flint still doesn't have clean water. Well, surprise, they're working towards it, and they are actually getting pretty damn close to completely eradicating the problem. So that's just another example that we are moving in the right direction, and Unfortunately, a lot of the mainstream media doesn't show you these improvements that we're making. And they just leave a lot of people uninformed. Now I do understand that you can do research on your own because you have the internet, but that takes a lot of time. I do understand that time is valuable and you have to spend your time doing um, what you enjoy doing. And if you don't enjoy keeping up with this stuff, but you like to be a little bit informed, then you're probably not going to know these intricate details that are going on. And so that's why I'm here to help you guys. Hopefully I can help you guys. And um, But that is today's episode. And so thank you for listening. And like always, if you like what you hear, you like what you saw, please subscribe, rate and review on Apple Podcasts, and share. If you think somebody else can get something out of this, Please share it. Don't let don't let your friend go around being blinded, um, you know, in ignorance. Uh, help them out if you think that they can get some help from this. So thank you for listening. We'll see you guys on Friday. Take care.